Lesson 10.6, Word Problem Solving, Display Data. Making a bar graph can help us when we are trying to solve problems about data. We will be able to compare the bars to see how the data changes. Data in a line plot can help us to solve problems. So for a quick review about the parts of a bar chart, we color each bar to match the length or height for the correct number. If it tells us blue is 5, we color the bar up to the number 5 on the scale. So you can see here this is the scale with the numbers and a label for the scale that says numbers sold. And this whole thing is about how many bracelets were sold. We also have a label down here showing that the names of the bars and a label for the bars is colors. If the data says that red is 3, we color the bar up to 3. If it says green is 2, we color the bar up to 2. If it says purple is 4, we color it up to the number 4 on the scale. In this lesson, we're going to be using the words increase and decrease. Increase means more. We have more now. Decrease means fewer. We have fewer now. So here it's telling us to make a bar graph to solve the problem. So the problem reads, Dave recorded the number of books he read for four months. Here he recorded them. How did the amount of books he read change from May to August? So we think we need to complete the bar graph, then we can compare the bars. So I wrote names for the bars that matched the months, May, June, July, and August. This is the abbreviation for August, and I labeled it months, and I gave it a title, Books Dave Read. For the scale, I labeled it Number of Books. Now we can answer, how did the amount of books he read change from May to August? We can see May is 1, and August is 4, and look, each bar gets a little bit higher. So we can say the number of books he read increased. From May to August, they increased. Again, it's telling us to make a bar graph to solve the problem. The problem reads, Bob wrote the number of lawns he mowed for three months. Describe how the number of lawns he mowed changed each month. So we think we need to complete a bar graph. And I did. We have September, October, November. So I wrote September, October, November. Those are the months. I labeled that months. We have our numbers on the side. That's our scale. And I labeled the scale number of lawns. We needed a title. So I titled it Lawns Bob Mode. I started by drawing September 6 lawns. So September has six lawns. I drew the bar up to the number six and colored it in. And we can choose any colors we want as long as they're different colors. For October, that's four lawns. So for October, I colored the bar up to the number four on the scale. November is two lawns. So I colored the bars up to the number two on the scale. Now we can answer what it says, describe how the number of lawns he mowed changed each month. We can look at the bars and see they're going down. They're decreasing. Each month, the number of lawns Bob mowed decreased. And how did they change? They decreased by two. We can see this is two more. We can see October is two more than November. They decreased by two. Now we have described how it changed. Now back in video 8.9, we learned about line plots. This is a line plot. And it's telling us to use the data in the line plot to solve the problem. So let's take a look at this. It says length of ribbon in inches. So each of these numbers are inches. And it's asking us how many ribbons are less than five inches long. We think less than five does not include five. So here's five. If we're talking about less than five, we're talking about these. 
These would be the ribbons that are less than five inches. And if you remember from line plots, each X represents one object, so that would be one ribbon. So we can count how many are less than five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ribbons are less than five inches long. Here we have another one that's telling us to make a bar graph to solve the problem. Tala measured the height of her plant once a week for five weeks. Describe how the height of her plant changed from June 1st to June 29th. We make our bar graph. I made this one and the height in inches was at the bottom. I labeled it height in inches and the dates were on the side. I labeled that date. I gave it the title, Height of Tala's Plant. Here's the list of her plant heights. June 1st was one inch, so I colored in one box for June 1st, right here. It lines up with the one on the scale. For June 8th, it's two inches. I colored in using red to the two. June 15th was three inches. I colored in the bar up to the three for June 15th. June 22nd was four inches, so I colored the bar in up to the four. And June 29th was five inches, so I colored the bar in up to the five. Now that the bar chart is complete, we can describe how the height of her plant changed from June 1st to June 29th. This bar chart has the bars going across, and we can see from June 1st to June 29th, the length of the bar is increasing. That means the height of Tala's plant increased. By how many inches? We're going from June 1st to June 29th. We see June 1st is one inch, and June 29th is five inches, so we're comparing five inches and one inch. And to compare five inches to one inch, we subtract. Five minus one is equal to four. That means the height of Tala's plant increased by four inches from June 1st to June 29th. So see if you can use the words increased and decreased in your answers and be very careful to make sure your bars are the correct length or height on your bar chart. Our next lesson is going to be in chapter 11 and that's all about geometry and fractions and we're going to talk about 3D shapes. I hope you're doing well. Keep trying your best and I'll see you next time. Bye.